Hello everybody, and welcome to my three heart challenge run of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Hello everybody, Green Leader with the Wig Support here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Three Heart Challenge. So, uh, in between the last episode and now, there's probably about a month to a month and a half gap in recording sessions. That was just due to me working on a uh, side project for my new channel. I'm gonna put it down below. It's basically, I'm starting off with the Alan Wake series, and, uh... It's basically a literary analysis of the story using multiple types of uh, science, philosophy, literature, theology, and stuff like that. So if you're interested in a breakdown of the story of a game, go check it out. Um, but in the also in the off time, I went ahead and got the water bomb so that we can go into the lake bed temple. So let's get going right now. And I certainly, I do not remember, but I certainly hope those Zoras do not try to do anything to attack me. I don't think they do. It would seem weird if they did. But seeing something swim around with a spear gets me nervous. Just reminds me of freaking Divermon from the Digimon series. And drop. I wonder how hot these things must be burning in order to literally have this kind of reaction underwater. Come on! Boom! Like, I know there are certain types of uh, water, or, um... Not water, but explosives? Something like that used in the uh, ancient world where it actually get hotter when water went on it. Kind of like Greek fire. And I, th I could be wrong, but I think Napalm does something similar to that. Where it burns so hot it actually divides the water into um, hydrogen and oxygen and then ignites them. In which case, Barnes is freaking clever as shit. Alright, so we're gonna start off here with just a little tutorial on how to use the swimming mechanics by forcing you to dodge those before you can even get inside the actual dungeon, which is cool. It helps out. I know Nintendo likes to design their games where they teach you the basics up front and then they throw a curveball at you down the line. And here we are, the beginning of the Lake Bed Temple. Now, I don't remember what... Um... All those things, I don't like them. Let's get rid of those real quick because I don't want any assholes flying around. Hello, arrows. And is there another one over here? Yeah. I think we can get away without having to kill him. Let's just check and make sure. Yeah, I don't see anything up there. I was concerned they might drop some stuff on my head. Dude, go away. Stop trying. The one... What is it? Choo-choo. Just trying to get up in my shit. Alright, so now it looks like we got our first Helmosaurs. Alright, let's get down and hopefully... Let's see where they're at. Oh, we got some Tektites too. These guys, I'm not gonna fuck around with. They're too chaotic. I don't trust them not to hit me by accident. That guy's just stuck over there. What are you doing, buddy? Alright, so we got the two Tektites down. Now we got the Helmosaur somewhere. Ooh! Whoa, that's treacherous. Whoa, don't you think you ought to knock those stalactites down? Yeah, I probably should. I completely forgot about that. Let me back up real quick. And again, this is an example of the game showing us that we can knock these things down before they actually require us to do it on behalf of puzzle solving. Two, three... You know what? Let's move, because I, knowing my luck, I'm going to blow that up in my face. 
Gotcha, so let's switch back over. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, these Helmosaurs, they can be taken care of one of two ways. The second we can't do until we get the hookshot. But for right now, I'm going to do my best just to avoid them. I wish I could turn around and see where these guys are at. Stop it! Target onto that one. That was pure luck. And let's get ourselves up. I think we just need to go through the door, but there is a treasure chest right here. I think it's just uh, more bombs or some kind of resource we're going to need. Yeah, more bombs. Perfect. Okay, and again, they put us on the very short bridge, or very thin bridge, so we're required to learn how to fight these guys, which is really just nothing whatsoever. The Lizard Fulse in this one are not that bad. I remember Skyward Sword, they got a little tricky because they would constantly be uh, using their arm guard. And here we are in the center room. I don't remember what this area was used for. The location would tend to suggest it's similar to the Water Temple, but... Maybe even built, like, an add-on to it. I honestly don't remember. So, basically, how we're gonna do this... Oh, there's Uko! So, all the Tektites, we're just gonna go ahead and use the arrows to kill. Because I am not getting close enough to them to let them deal damage. Um, I'm pretty sure this dungeon gives you enough bombs and arrows that you were never going to run out, which is a good thing. Unless, like, if you ever did run out, you would be shit out of luck. And there's some arrows right there. Like I said, they take care of us. There's one. Hello there. Okay, so there's the thing over there. And... Perfect. So, the central area, basically, how we're gonna function throughout it is continuously jump on those little levers that come out of the ceiling. And it's gonna shift it around. See, if I w had my thinking cap on, I would plot out which chests had what. So that I could strategically open them to get more materials as we go. Because, honestly, two arrows to, uh... Picking up 20 arrows when you're only missing two is kind of a waste. Okay, there's one Tektite over there. And one over here. I think the Uku's over here, which... Hopefully we won't need, but... It's entirely possible. What's up, Uku? Get in my pocket! In my un infinitely large pocket that can store dozens of bombs and parapoots. Okay, we got a key right there, so we can't do anything. Let's work our way around. Whoop! That one got a little bit too close, but we're good right now. Okay, before we go that route, let's take this road. And we can't do anything here either, so let's just move on. over on this side. Doesn't look like it, so let's go ahead and shift it around. There we go. So that's that road. There's some money, 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 monies. Oh, and we got the chest, which is probably just going to be the sh map or something. That is absolutely accurate. Okay. Do do ba boom. And this is the tunnel where they force us to learn how to fight the Helmosaur. 
Right, so that's basically all you're gonna have to worry about. Just learn how to sidestep. Now, once we get the hook shot, we can steal their mask, in which case we can just walk right up and deal with them, but yeah. All right, so here we got a couple more of these we're gonna have to knock down. And there we go. Perfect, and switch this back. Perfect. So we got those two down there below. We got a treasure chest over in that corner. And some other things. Hookshot point up there. Let's work our, our way down first. And might as well pick up the rupees. I don't know much about what we're going to need this for. Uh, um, let's get rid of these guys first. That one's down, because knowing my luck, I'm going to fall. Oh. Shit. Um, buddy. Buddy. Can you stop doing that, please? Alright, let's go to this side. Jesus. These guys really do not want to make this easy on me. Alright, well, I'll do that once we get to the other side of this. Get on the vines! Oh, here's one right here. And there's two more down there, which we will get to. hi -ya! And I think this is... Whoa, Jesus! That could have ended badly. Just like that. That is exactly why I want to kill these things. Because my coordination on... Solid ground is not that great. Yeah, let's just go ahead. I think we'll be okay. Alright, and we're back out. Now, there was that one door with the key lock. We're gonna have to go back and revisit. And here we go. A couple of Maybe it's just me, but I really enjoy the how the keys work, or at least the animation in this game. For how they fall off the doors. I'm weird, I don't know. Because the other ones, it's kind of just like you put the key in and it opens. This one, it's like a physical mechanism that has to disassemble. Shit. Shit. Oh my god, you dick! You're making me waste all my freaking arrows, you asshole. Fingers crossed this gives me some arrows. No, it's still it's still necessary, but not what I was looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Hello there. Which, again, makes sense considering we need to do this. At the end of the day, they'll always make sure we have what we need. Okay, we're up here, and just need to grab onto that bad boy so we can open the gate. Perfect. Alright, what do we got going on over here? We will need a bomb, I believe. But there is some things behind there, so let's just get ready. And that absolutely wasted one of my arrows. <laughs> hey, Helmosaur, get over here. Hello there! I'm so glad that it doesn't actually deal take a damage to me, because that's always a concern when you get that in close to an enemy. That you'll end up getting hit first before your strike hits. Well, I guess my hitbox is larger than his. Or maybe his hitbox is only near his helmet. Who knows? Oh, this guy, yeah. I'm gonna have to switch over real quick. You're a dick. Alright, give me a second. Yeah. 
Get out of here. And done. Give me your money, and we're good. All right, so we got one more key right there that we're gonna have to find. Let me see, there's nothing to shoot down here, which is good. So let's just go ahead and check out the other side. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's some chew jelly right here. Jump up. Let's just get to the other side there. And I think, yeah, there's going to be some keys. Which we can use you to deal with. Without wasting any of our arrows. And let's grab the key. Money, money, and nothing. Okay. So rather than trying to trek our way through there, we're going to take the safe route and go this way. Well, safe route. Haha. <laughs> I laugh. What's up, dude? Hey -oh! All things considered, I'd rather take one of these over one of the chew jellies because they can be a little erratic on occasion. And all the Helmosaurs are gone. So we're good. Alright. This is probably the most memorable room other than the main room for me just because of the whole... I'm not going to spoil it just yet, but there's a fun little segment uh, after the halfway point of the game in this room. Alright, so we're basically going to climb up here. There's going to be some tektites all the way along this path. Honestly, the blue ones, I might just try to take care of normally. Because it only seems to be the red ones that have that long distance jump. The blue ones seem to be relatively okay. Boy, oh, effect. And is there one more? Doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe there is. And here we are. I don't need more bombs. I need arrows. But whatever. Alright, so I think this is where we get the hook shot. Or no, we need the hook shot to get it. Hiya! Actually, no, I lied. The fun part is right here. Are you guys ready? You guys ready for this? Water slide! We Ow, ow, ow! Stop scraping the wall! As much as water parks were fun as a kid, the biggest problem was the uh, plastic tubes. The static electricity you get from it, you were just shocking yourself all the way down. It would burn you. Burn! Alright, so let's go ahead and open the floodgates here, and we can move forward and back into that central chamber. Alright. Alright, guys, well, we're going to leave this off here for today and continue onwards to follow this new river we created in the next episode, so I'll see you all then. Later!